Hi everyone, it's Janine here, and in today's video we are going to be learning how to take derivatives of trigonometric functions. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in this first example here, we have the function y is equal to sine of 3x. And so let's go ahead and take its derivative. So we have y prime is equal to, and so taking a look at our table here, we see that the derivative with respect to x of sine of f of x is equal to cosine of f of x times f prime of x. So the first thing that we need to do is take the derivative of this trigonometric part, keeping the angle the same. So the derivative of sine is cosine. So we have cosine, and then we're going to keep the angle the same. So we have 3x, and then we're going to multiply by the derivative of our angle. So the derivative of 3x is equal to 3. And as our last step, we're going to go ahead and move this 3 out in front. So we have y prime is equal to 3 cosine of 3x. In this next example here, we have the function y is equal to cosine of 5x squared. So let's go ahead and take its derivative. So we have y prime is equal to, and so taking a look at our table, we see that the derivative with respect to x of cosine of f of x is equal to negative sine of f of x times f prime of x. So the first thing that we need to do is take the derivative of our trigonometric part. So the derivative of cosine is equal to negative sine. So we have negative sine and then we're going to keep the angle the same. So our angle here is 5x squared. And then we're going to multiply by the derivative of our angle. So here our angle is 5x squared. So the derivative of 5x squared is equal to 10x. And as our last step, let's go ahead and move this term here out in front. So we have y prime is equal to negative 10x sine of 5x squared. In this next example, we have the function y is equal to secant of x squared plus 1. So let's go ahead and take its derivative. So we have y prime is equal to. And so taking a look at our table, we can see that the derivative with respect to x of secant of f of x is equal to secant of f of x times tangent of f of x times f prime of x. Let's go ahead and start off by taking the derivative of our trig part. So the derivative of this trig part here is secant tangent. And we're going to keep the angle the same. So we have secant of x squared plus 1 times tangent of x squared plus 1. And then we're going to multiply by the derivative of our angle. So the derivative of x squared plus 1 is equal to 2x. And as our last step, let's go ahead and move this 2x out in front. So we have y prime is equal to 2x times secant of x squared plus 1 times tangent of x squared plus 1. So in this next example here, we have the function y is equal to cosecant of x to the fifth. So let's go ahead and take its derivative. So we have y prime is equal to, and so taking a look at our table, we see that the derivative with respect to x of cosecant of f of x is equal to negative cosecant of f of x times cotangent of f of x times f prime of x. So let's go ahead and start off by taking the derivative of this trigonometric part here, keeping the angle the same. So we have negative cosecant of x to the fifth times cotangent of x to the fifth. And then we're going to multiply by the derivative of our angle. So the derivative of x to the fifth is equal to 5x to the fourth. So we're going to multiply by 5x to the fourth. And as our last step, let's go ahead and move this term here out in front. So we have y prime is equal to negative 5x to the fourth times cosecant of x to the fifth times cotangent of x to the fifth. And now let's go ahead and take a look at a few more examples. So in this next example here, we have the function y is equal to tangent of 10x squared. And so let's go ahead and take its derivative. So we have y prime is equal to, and we can see from our table that the derivative with respect to x of tangent of f of x is equal to secant squared of f of x times f prime of x. So the first thing that we're going to do is take the derivative of our trigonometric part and then we're going to keep the angle the same. So the derivative of tangent is equal to secant squared. So we have secant squared, and we're going to keep the angle the same. So this angle here is equal to 10x squared. And then we're going to multiply by the derivative of our angle. 
as shown here. So the derivative of 10x squared is equal to 20x. And now let's go ahead and move this term here out in front. So we end up with y prime is equal to 20x times secant squared of 10x squared. So in this last example here, we have the function y is equal to cotangent of 2x. And so let's go ahead and take its derivative. So we have y prime is equal to, and we can see from our table here that the derivative with respect to x of cotangent of f of x is equal to negative cosecant squared of f of x times f prime of x. So the first thing that we're going to do is take the derivative of our trigonometric part, keeping our angle the same. So the derivative of cotangent is equal to negative cosecant squared. And so we're going to keep the angle the same. So this angle here is 2x. And then we need to multiply by the derivative of our angle. So the derivative of 2x is equal to 2. And as our last step, let's go ahead and move this to out in front. So we end up with y prime is equal to negative 2 cosecant squared of 2x. And so that is how you take the derivative of a trigonometric function. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.